Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Today I am struggling because I'm putting on, I ordered two Noriko type, excuse me for a minute, this is driving me wild. For some reason, Noriko <clears throat> enjoys giving you wigs that go right in your face. I don't know about anybody else, but I really, really don't like that. I've had two Noriko wigs. One was the Alva in sugarcane, and I couldn't, I absolutely couldn't wear that because I tried to curl it. It wouldn't curl. Um, the, brain, the, the bangs just frizzled, and I do not recommend the Alva at Noriko. As a matter of fact, so far I'm not liking Noriko brand wigs at all. The cap is tight. I'm only a 21 and a quarter inch head, so any wig that I have should be fitting me just perfect. This one is tight on my head and it's supposed to be an average. I've checked and rechecked and it says average. The other thing is, is that it falls in my face. And there's one thing I cannot stand is having hair in my face. Maybe there's some people that like to go around all day like this. Not me. And this type of wig is made to go in your face. There's no other way except to put a little clip in, which I'm attempting to do right now. I did it before just to hold it back for the moment. I am really frustrated with these wigs. These are not well-made wigs, in my opinion. Excuse me. In my opinion, these are not well-made wigs. I do not care for the Norelco. This one is the Nema. The, the Nema in Spring Honey. So I'm going to turn around and show you the back. This is the Noriko color Spring Honey. This is the back of the hair. Not a bad little bowl cut haircut. It's pretty much a bowl cut, if you can see. It's pretty much a bowl cut in the back. And in the front, it's just supposed to uh, fall on your face. I don't like that. I don't like wearing hair in my face. So I am not a fan. I have two Norwego wigs. The other one is the Alva in sugarcane and this one did the same thing this is the sugarcane color if you want to see the color because I'm not putting it on anymore it's trash basically I attempted to curl the bangs and they just frizzled so and it was just on the proper setting and they wouldn't curl they wouldn't curl under they wouldn't do anything but fall in my face. For some reason, Noriko thinks that women like hair flat in their face. Like that. I do not. So, I am not a fan of this wig. And I'm going to take it off and show you the inside. The construction does not impress me either. When you turn it around on the inside, you find this piece of materials really hot right there. See that black? I don't know what it is. It's it's some kind of a covering. It's not lace. It isn't anything breathable. It's just plain hot. And there's no comfort tab. No comfort tab at all on the front. None whatsoever. This is the front of the wig. This is what you get, a seam. It's very uncomfortable. And in the back, you have no, you have a little bit, a tiny little bit of strip of a comfort strip with the felt. The adjusters are the bra strap type, which is old fashioned. I prefer greatly the new kind, which is the Velcro. Works much better. This one, I don't like this wig. I really don't. I've had, I ordered two Norikos and I don't like either one of them. This one is the Nima, and I'm not a fan of Nima. 
not a fan at all. This is Spring Honey. It's got rooted a little bit at the top, but I don't want to put it back on because I can't stand it in my face. So that's the name of that story. I just don't like it. And this one here was the Alva, and I tried to put it on. I tried to model it for today. I cannot wear this wig. It has the same problem. The hair goes in my face, and it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. It's not done well. I'm gonna turn it inside out and show you the construction of the Alva. Same deal. You have this black thing in the front. See this black piece right here in the front? There is no comfort tab. This complete black piece is gonna be hot and itchy. This is not going to be a comfortable wig to wear all day. And the tabs are the bra strap. The, uh, I can't even find the ear. There it is. The ear things are kind of hidden. The ear tabs are hidden. It's just not my kind of wig and I don't recommend it. So there it is. I bought two Norikas and they're out. I don't like them, don't care for them. And this is why I buy my own wigs so that I can be honest with you. If Norico had sent me those wigs and they wanted me to um, review them, I wouldn't have been able to because I have to be honest. So I'm gonna put my uh, the Harlow back on. This is what I picked out for today is my Harlow wig, which I like much, much, much better. The Harlow is a great wig. And it's a Paula Young wig, I think. So, this is so much better. Do you see how those lines go across the face and they don't get in your eyes? I have to have that. I cannot stand them in my eyes. So, this one is the Harlow. I really, really love it. It's a beautiful wig and it works for me. Just trying to get its tags so I can tell you it is by Paula Young and it's in honey blonde with pale blonde highlights. So it is a Paula Young wig. So once again, Paula Young rules. And speaking of Paula Young, she's still winning the poll. Still winning the poll, still 55% um, in favor of doing more Paula Young wigs. So I've got several more Paula Young wigs to show you. But I was going to wear these Norico ones today, and I am completely, sadly disappointed in them. They're going to go to the deep storage. Not the wig I want to have. Can't stand it when you can't curl the bangs. Can't stand it when the bangs are in your face. See how this one goes nicely to the side? That's what I want. Something that is not going to torture me all day long with my hair being in my face. I don't like that. It is too difficult for me to wear my hair this way. So I'm gonna turn around and show you the back of the Harlow. I think I just did. But isn't that pretty? Isn't that a beautiful color too? Paula Young really rules. She does a great job, both with the color and with the styles. I love Paula Young wigs. And the fit is phenomenal. The Norico wigs were tight on my 21 and a quarter inch circumference head. And that's ridiculous because I am really in between petite and average. So any average size wig should fit me just about perfectly. And they normally do, except for Norico. They are tight on my head and they have that big ugly thing on the top that is so hot. It is, it is, it, I was hot just putting them on for a few minutes. I was hot. I am so much happier in this Polly Young wig, so much happier. 
So, Paula Young, I like your wigs. I like the way you style them, and I love your colors. So, that's my story for today. Don't like the Norico, and don't recommend the Norico. They are just out as far as I'm concerned. So, okay, now I want to go on to talk to you about something else. I want to talk to you about my favorite thing at Christmas time. What's your favorite thing at Christmas time? Do you have a favorite thing? Well, my favorite thing, of course, is Jesus, because he is what Christmas is all about. So don't get wrapped up. So many people get so wrapped up in making a perfect Christmas for your kids or your grandchildren. Don't get wrapped up in that because it never comes off right. It never. I tried that before. It just never happens. Somebody is not going to get what they want and they're going to be upset. Every year, somebody is disappointed. It's just the way it is. Even if you have everybody make out a list, it still doesn't particularly work. I have a little bio hair problem right there I need to fix. There, all fixed. So don't get so caught up this year. Um, push away the hype and just enjoy the day, the season. Just enjoy it. It is the birth of our Savior. The reason we give gifts is because Jesus is the greatest gift. He is the best gift ever, the greatest gift. We need to keep Christ at the center of Christmas, the center of the celebration. So put out your manger scenes because that always helps. If you've got one, put it out. If you don't, go get one. They're not expensive. You can get a lot of manger scenes for under $10. Some of the wooden ones are under $10. Um, go down to Hobby Lobby. They have a ton of them. They're a little bit more expensive there. Marshalls has a great number of them. So get your manger scene and display it prominently. Read the Bible, Luke 2. Luke chapter 2 is part of your Christmas celebration. And display kindness, especially during Christmas season. Disp display kindness. Everybody is rushing around trying to get in that parking space. Just back off and let the other person have it. If you're in a fight with them, if you're in a duel for a parking space, back off and be kind. Park way at the end of the row and walk. It's healthier for you. You can walk off some of that, some of that frustration. And lastly, be a secret Santa to somebody. Pick somebody out, a waitress. That's one of my favorite ones, is a waitress that waits on me sometimes or maybe someone I don't even know. And leave them a big tip, something they're not expecting during this Christmas season. And don't do it once, but do it twice or three times, as much as you can afford to give away. Give it away this season. And you'll be blessed for it. You will absolutely be blessed. So have a blessed Christmas this year. Be generous. Be kind. Be loving. And enjoy the season. And that's my story for today. I have on the Harlow wig. And I'm loving this wig. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.